Okay, hi everyone. Um, today I'm gonna do an an editorial on how to retouch a high fashion image. I think there actually needs to be more tutorials out there about how to edit high fashion photographs. There are a few more now online, such as Rosie Hardy and Adam Bird, who are absolutely incredible, and their videos actually inspired me to make mine today. Um. But I'm just going to try and put my own spin on it and see how it works. Um, I'm incredibly monotone, so enjoy my monotone voice. I firstly like to go into filter and liquify. I think there's a beauty in doing discrete editing. Um, people spend hours and hours manipulating photos, but it can look really harsh and it's ineffective. I think if you do it subtly, it looks a lot more professional. I'm just going to take my size down a little bit here and just, I always edit eyes like this by the way, just gives it a cat eye effect. I'm just going to make the eyebrows a little bit bushier. And then just make the lips a bit plumper and a bit more symmetrical as well. Ellie is absolutely stunning by the way, guys, I'm not advocating editing every part of a human's body, but I just like to make a couple of changes. Okay, I'm just going to chisel the jaw a little bit. Right, well I'm happy with that, I don't need to do any more liquefying. I'm just going to step backwards so you can see the difference. Okay, I'm going to go in with... By the way, I do use um, keyboard shortcuts, but I thought for the purpose of this video I'd show you man manually, so you know how you're navigating around Photoshop. Okay, so I'm going to go in with clone, this little tool here. And I'm going to put the opacity on, actually yeah, it's already on 65, that's what I usually use. Just make the brush a little bit bigger. And then, to get a natural skin cover, to get natural skin coverage, I always alt and click near where the blemish or the spot is that I want to remove to make it look as um, natural as possible. I just said natural about 50 times. And then, I work down. As you can see here, there's some um, eyebrow gel that's just transferred onto the skin, so I'm just going to remove that as well. Then I like to go in to this little brush here. On its default setting, it will be brush tool, but I always use the mixer tool. And I like to keep the wetness here on 2%. If you put it up, and you can put it up higher, but it'll just create a plasticky looking effect on your model skin. Um, I like to keep the skin looking like skin as natural as possible. So I always keep it on 2%. Okay, so I'm going I do always avoid the nose as well, I'll, I'll do like one quick sweep just because if you retouch and blow a nose too much it can just ruin the face, make it look weird. Okay, I'm really happy with um, the retouching of the skin. What I've not mentioned before is that I've actually bought, so I'm on essentials here by the way, go on to photography, I've actually bought the Lara Jade presets, as you can see here, um, she's done an amazing package with loads of different sort of colours and settings. I do make my own colours, I do have my own presets, but I just love these presets so much and sometimes I am lazy. Okay, so I'm just going to go on to looks. Now, the 
this is just too red for me and all the greens have been lost in this photograph which was why I was so obsessed with the photo in the first place because I love green. So I'm just going to go into looks and turn the opacity down probably to about mm, 50. And then this little drop down here, selective colour. Um, and I'm going to just take the reds out as sort of. Okay, and just to warm the skin back up, I'm going to go up on the yellow. And then this is my favourite tool here, which is the black. I'm going to bring that in. It just makes the photo look so much better. Okay, and then I, there's not enough detail in the skirt for me because it's really detailed. So I'm gonna go under genters and just change some of this around, make it more purple. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the colour of the skin, and. That's it for my slides for colour, if I'm honest. I then do go and add some grain. It just makes it look like a magazine photo, in my opinion. I'm then going to go... Ellie's hair is absolutely gorgeous, but I do just want to make it a bit more... I want the roots to match this dark colour here. So I'm going to go into Essentials. And I'm going to alt-click on the desirable colour. I'm just going to make it a bit darker and I'm going to change this to the brush tool, take it up to about nine and then just brush over it. You don't want to do it too much because it'll become obvious that you've just stuck a colour on top. It's good for just correcting colours that aren't as dark or as light as you want them to be. I'm being quite messy with this, but if you're on a higher percentage, you won't be able to be. <coughs> Just because it would be obvious that you'd call it over something that you weren't meant to. Okay, I'm happy with the hair now. Um, I am going to just lighten the eyes a little bit. So I'm going to go on white and always, always either have it on one or two because it will just make the eyes look cloudy if you have it on a higher percentage. Really happy with this photograph now. Probably just gonna save it. I, that literally took me five minutes. Um, I, that's not me showing off. By the way, that was just to show you how quick and easy it can be. Um, so yeah, and I hope you guys like it.